Bonjour mes amis, today we're diving into French grammar, namely articles. So grab a notebook, make sure you're ready, let's go. In French, definite articles are used to talk about specific items. They correspond to the in English. And they change depending on the number or the gender of the noun that we're talking about. So for example, for a singular masculine noun, we use le, for example, le chien, the dog. For singular feminine form, we use la, la fille, the girl. And the plural, which doesn't change, thankfully, for masculine or feminine, we use les. So you could say les garçons, the boys, or les filles, the girls. But wait, there's a twist. And that's when a singular noun, whether it be feminine or masculine, if it starts with a vowel sound or a mute H. We'll talk about the H very soon. We have two types of them. Anyways, le or la becomes L apostrophe. Now you might be wondering why. Because take un as an example, which means man. It's obviously masculine in gender and it's singular. So can I easily say le un? Uh, oh, no, two vowel sounds, not smooth. So I'm going to change le to L apostrophe. L'homme. Easier said, faster. So, it's better. Wait, does that mean I have an option? You don't. You just got to change le or la to L apostrophe. L'homme. L'orange. And so on. I'm going to talk into the wall, aren't I? Hey, does the same thing happen for plurals? No. Because for le, there's one S at the end that allows us to connect that to whatever vowel that we're facing in the next word. So, for example, the men was pronounced as les hommes, the men. The S is activated and changes to Z. That's how we can easily pronounce it. Even though normally you couldn't even say les hommes, it's wrong. But because there's an S, we can use it and activate it and then say les hommes, that works. Or les oranges, the oranges. Now let's talk about indefinite articles, which are a bit like saying a or an in English. We use a for masculine and singular nouns, and we use une for feminine and singular nouns. What about the plurals? De, whether they be feminine or masculine. For example, un garçon, a boy. Une fille, a girl, des garçons, boys, des filles, girls. Is it specific? No. Just boys and girls. Some boys, some girls. That's why we call it indefinite article. We don't know who these boys are necessarily, so that's why. Remember, practice makes perfect. And that's why we're going to practice right now. But reviewing before practice always helps. So for definite articles, we had le, masculine, singular. La, feminine, singular. Les, masculine or feminine, plural. What about the indefinite articles? Un, for masculine and singular. Une, feminine and singular, de, feminine or masculine, but plural. Let's jump right into the exercises. Okay, so what I want you to do is to put the right definite article in exercise one and choose the best indefinite article for exercise two. Go ahead, we'll talk about the answers later.
So let's check the answers. A. Le chien. Le chien. The dog. B. La pomme. La pomme. The apple. And C. Enfant. Les enfants. The children. Great job. Moving on to exercise two. A. Un garçon. Un garçon. A boy. B. Une femme. Une femme. A woman. C. Un livre. Un livre. A book. And D. Des filles. Des filles. Girls. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.